Hi, have you noticed that when you're under stress, you're more snappy? Does that happen to you? So this is a, my name is Prerna and I'm a behavior coach. And this is an example from a preschool classroom that just happened last week. Um, setting the stage, it's a circle time. The teacher's at the right board and they're learning about the things that start with J. And this is one little boy, let's call him Russ. He just keeps getting up and walking around. He just cannot sit still. He walks to the uh, calm down basket. He touches this, he comes back. So the teacher is constantly redirecting him to come back and join the kids in the carpet. She starts writing the J letter words and she writes June. And Russ shoots up and goes straight to the whiteboard and points to the U. It's the same, it's the same. He's so excited that he is recognizes. And the teacher says, Russ, stop it, stop erasing it. We're not supposed to erase it. Go sit down, get back on the carpet. And so, you know, he goes back down there with a face like that. And at the debrief, because after observations, I always have a debrief with the teacher and the director. And at the debrief, I said to her, so what happened at the whiteboard? You were getting a little triggered by Russ. And she said, oh, could you pick up on that? She started laughing. She's like, yes, he just is on the move. He never listens. He's constantly active, he's so overactive and he doesn't pay attention, he's always off task. And I said, well, I think you were getting a little triggered, so you were a little reactive to him. She said, what do you mean? I said, okay, let's uh, recognize the emotion that Russ was feeling in the moment. He was really excited. He was excited because he recognized the matching you from his name. His intent was not to erase it. That was an accident. She said, I know, but it happens all the time. I said, okay, for this week's homework, I just want you to catch yourself before you say anything to him. I just want you to create a pause, 90 second pause. That's all you need, 90 seconds. Just ask yourself, what is he experiencing right now? What is he feeling right now? Just pause and ask yourself that question. And had you paused, you would have recognized that he was excited with the recognition. And so if instead of moving from reaction to responding, it would sound different. When he would come up and he would erase it by mistake, you would recognize, oh, Russ, you recognize you're you. You're excited about that. Okay, great, thank you. Let me finish this you because it got erased by mistake. And now have a seat. He will feel acknowledged, you will feel empowered, and then he will stop getting under your skin to have you react. So our job is to go catch ourselves from reacting to responding. And this will be a game changer. So try it for this week. Um, if you like this short video and you want to continue getting the future highlights from the coaching sessions, make sure you subscribe to the channel below. Thanks for joining. Until next time. Bye.